I am Sheila Walsh, Program Coordinator of the Radio Humber Diploma Program here at Humber College. Welcome to On the Radio, a webisode feature where we speak with industry experts and Humber alumni on all things radio. Today, I speak with Adam Wild. Okay, hi, it's Sheila Walsh, and I'm here with visiting Radio Humber alum, uh, Mr. Adam Wild. We're trying to figure out what year you're from, and sometime in the mid 2000s. Yeah, something. Well, mid to late, mid to late. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I think 2008. You've been out of here a while. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you just finished uh, talking to our class in the back room, who you can't see, but make some noise, class. Woo great things to say. One of the things I want to focus on for this real quick little conversation with alum piece that we're doing is um, you talked about relocation. Mm -hmm. You used a great analogy. You said it's kind of like growing pain. It's going to hurt but it's worth it in the end for the end result. Can you just talk a little bit more about that and recap what you said? Yeah uh, I think when you're when you move to a new city you're, you're basically taking everything uh, that you know and you're kind of putting it aside because it is a new city and it's a uh, it's a different um, a different culture. A lot, a lot of times in Canada, it's a completely different culture. If you're moving to a different region, and uh, you are really starting anew, and so there are going to be parts about that 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 hurt because it's going to pull you out of your comfort zone. Uh, but at the same time, it forces you to grow and become a more well-rounded person and truly understand, for me anyway, what it's like to be a Canadian outside of Southern Ontario, which is completely different. You know, I mean, Canadians on the East Coast and Canadians on the West Coast are just—they're different people, and they're different. Um, they're different in the sense that you, uh, you kind of it kind of surprises you sometimes. It kind of hurts sometimes. Uh, but after that six month um, period where you kind of, sorry, I'm not really speaking very well about this. You said it need, you need six months. Yeah, so you need about six months yeah. to get in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said that's gonna uh, give you the time to make some new friends mm -hmm. and understand the city. You said, you know, I believe you were talking about Calgary that it's cold. You need to get up on a park and walk around and see yeah. what the people are going through. Yeah, yeah, and Calgary's great actually because sometimes they have these things called Chinook where Chinook's where they, uh, the southern southern winds blow up these hot temperatures and it goes from minus 30 to plus 10 in one day and that's pretty cool. But yeah, you have to get out there and, and really absorb the city and understand the, the normal lives of the people who live there because you're going to be talking to them. And you said be really open to, to doing this too because a lot of people are afraid to relocate thinking they're leaving behind, fi behind family and, and all that. And, and you know it, it's doable isn't it it is it is it's it's just a it's a risk you have to get out there and be uncomfortable and then all of a sudden the comfort returns because you've got a group of friends again and uh, you've got places where you like to hang out and uh, places and things that you never thought you would do you end up doing and loving good now talk to me a little bit about positivity and persistence two of the themes you were telling our class about uh, okay so good attitude will take you anywhere uh, you, it doesn't matter what you do, if you're good to people and you're positive about yourself and about the people you work with, you're a good teammate, people want to have you in the hallways and people want to listen to you on the air. Um, there's just something about uh, being, putting people in a comfortable spot that um, it, it turns you into a bit of a magnet, I guess. And, and, uh, and in persistence, you're going to have people that tell you that you can't do it. They can't, you won't, you don't have the talent, whatever. And uh, you have to tell them, you tell the world what you want to be. And so you have to take those conversations, understand what they're about, understand why someone's saying that about you if it's negative, and then you have to go and prove them wrong and prove yourself right. Good. And you talked um, to the group as well about uh, a position they're in. They're, they're young, they're starting out, and, and they need to be taken seriously, something that you said you kind of experienced as well. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I think when you're a young broadcaster, the older ones, are not going to take you as serious because they've been in the industry a long time and and definitely have the benefit of experience and have seen a lot of things that you probably haven't seen yet. Uh, but you have to to be taken seriously. You have to you have to earn that and you have to be used to at the beginning of your career being the person that's learning and being the sponge and absorbing. I mean, I'm still in that stage. I'm not even close to being done with that. I, I don't know that I ever will be. Um, but you are not an expert when you walk into a building for the first time. You're an expert when you've been there 20 years. And I think uh, when, you, when you accept that fact, you, you grow again. It's another thing, it's, it's, it goes back to the growing pains. It, uh, it hurts at first and then you're like, wow, I'm really growing, I'm really learning, this is great. And you become a lot smarter than you previously were. Good, and that kind of plays nicely into my final uh, question for you um, on air ethics. So um, 
you said when you turn on that mic, make everything matter. Just just talk to the class and, and to our students who are watching um, a little bit about that. Okay, so you know when you're on the air and you've done a break and you go, well, I got by on that one and I really didn't do much, but who's gonna notice? Believe me, people notice. And if you make every break count, if you make every break great, it will pay off. Radio is one of those things that there isn't that instant reaction. I mean, there is on social media, but there isn't that, um, you're not an instant celebrity when you do your first break. It takes years for people to get to know you. That's just the way it is. Um, if you do, if you put in those years doing excellent content or the best of your ability, people will start to notice. And if you throw, if you throw away breaks, people will throw you away. Excellent. Adam Wilde, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>